for why you should visit the Temperate Deciduous Forest. Temperate Deciduous Forest Latitude and Longitude 23.5 degrees to 60 degrees latitude in both northern and southern hemispheres of the world including northeastern America, Europe, eastern Asia as well as southwest and eastern Australia. These biomes are quite tame compared to more extreme climates such as the Arctic and Sahara Desert. The average annual precipitation in these areas range from 30 to 60 inches of rain. Temperate deciduous forests need to have a growing season of 140 to 200 days with a four to six month period without frost. The average temperatures of all deciduous forests in the world are around 50 degrees Fahrenheit and annual temperatures ranging from negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. The soil of the deciduous forest is known as the afalso, which is when the soil doesn't have a bleached E horizon, but they do have clays in that accumulate in the subsoils. The depth of the soil goes all the way down to its parent material, which is what it works its way to the clays and minerals, mixtures of humus and then forest litter, and at the top of the soil. Okay. Types of animals that could be seen in the temperate deciduous forest is deer, gray squirrels, mice, raccoons, salamander, snakes, robins, frogs, and many types of insects. The adaptation that allows animals to survive the biome is that each animal must be able to adapt to the seasonal changes. So each animal in its biome knows how to migrate to warmer weather and hibernate during colder weather months. Human impacts of the temperate deciduous forest is deforestation, logging, acid rain, and human invasion. Interesting information is it's ranked second as the rainiest biome. It's organized into five zones based on the height of the trees and has four different seasons. Common vegetation are mosses, wildflowers, beech trees, and oak trees. Trees grow large leaves to absorb as much sunlight as they can before winter, and trees grow thick bark to protect themselves from the long winters.